Okay, hi everybody. Sorry about that. I had a bit of a technical difficulty logging on, as always. Um, I'm just checking if I can hear me. So, um, this is my first, I've done them on a bit, this is my first gentle floor back. I feel really nervous, weirdly, like I'm coming back to work. Francis has gone for a walk with Lucas, so uh, if I have baby brain, I get muddled up there with the sleep. Um, you need to get a cushion or a block if you want to use a prop. You don't have to, especially if you're on a carpet, you might feel like you need a cushion anyway. Um, if you're going to do relaxation at the end, I'll talk you into it, but you're welcome to stay lying down. Go up to pause, it translates to, so you just want to get comfy. So grab any woolly socks or a blanket or anything that you might want for when you are in chat. And then when you're ready, just start to sit nice and comfortably. Also, if you want to put any music on, get that on now. I usually have music on, but obviously not good at technology. But. And when you sit on your block or cushion, we're aiming for the hips to come a little bit higher, and that helps to open up your hips. Okay? The most important thing when you're doing yoga is that you are comfortable, because if you're not comfortable when you're doing a class, all you're going to be thinking about is the part of your body that's achy or feeling a little bit tight. So sit either with your legs crossed or your legs out in front or to the side, whatever feels good. And I'm sure, like me, we've all had a little bit of ups and downs feelings this week or last week, it's a very strange time. So as always, we're going to start with a little bit of breathing. So when you're ready, close the eyes and relax the shoulders down. We're going to take one hand to the tummy and one hand to the heart. And before we start, just allow yourself a moment to settle down. Find some stillness. So you may be working from home. Maybe you're travelling to work still. So you might have children at home to take care of or a new baby. In your mind's eye, I want you to picture the room that you are in. Picture the space that you are in. Picture yourself sitting on your mat. Start to focus on the space between your eyebrows and start to let go of anything that's happened so far today or any emotion. Maybe you're worried about something, just let it go. Notice your body as it moves with each breath. You might notice the chest rise and fall as you inhale and exhale. You might feel the tummy move up and down. You might notice some gurgles in the stomach. And now just create some space as you exhale. Let the shoulders melt down away from the ears. Soften the brow. Relax the ears. Let the tongue fall from the roof of the mouth. For a moment, all you need to focus on is that sensation of the breath as it moves in and out of the body. As you inhale now, breathe in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Start to relax. Breathe in. Directing air into the chest and right through to the back body. And then exhaling out of the mouth. Start to let go. Breathe in. Heart rises. And now see if you can fill up the tummy as well. Pressing the tummy into the hands. And then exhale to release. Let's do two more rounds. Breathe in. Stretch through the sides of the body. Breathe out to let go. Inhale. Heart lifts to the sky. Feel the whole body expand as you fill it with energy and air. And then exhale as you release, relaxing the shoulders down and letting go of any negativity or worries or stress. 
Allow yourself a moment. Tune into the breath now. Let's tune into the body. Work from your toes, your feet and your ankles, right up the legs, past the knees, to the hips, along the spine, to the neck and shoulders, right down the arms, the tips of the fingers, and then through to the top of the head. Notice how your body feels. Notice how your body feels energized and relaxed with each breath. Acknowledge any areas that are holding tension and know that this time now is just for you. Allow your body and mind to be completely present for this next block of time, letting go of anything that's happened and anything that's to come. Let's take an inhale together. Exhale to release. Gently blink the eyes open, take the hands to the palms, face the sky, and then give the shoulders some nice big twists back. So just feeling calm and relaxed. We're going to start with side stretches. Let's wake up the body nice and gently. Inhale, left arm rises up, and as you exhale, draw it back. So we're just flowing the breath. Inhale to rise and exhale to release. If it helps you to tune into your own breath rather than following me, close your eyes. Make sure that the base of the body stays pressed into the mat and then let go. So remember that this practice is just for you. You may feel it even more so now that you're doing it at home, maybe in private. So don't feel like you have to push yourself. You're just stretching the body, find a little bit of connection. That's it, reaching right through to the fingertips. Inhale, rise. And then release. Let's do one more on each side. Breathe in, heart rises as the fingers reach up and over. And then exhale, let go. Doing the same with two hands. Breathe in, reach through the sides of the body, tilt the head to the sky. As you exhale, flip the palms, bringing them all the way down. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, relax the face. See if you can bring the chin to the chest. Inhale, heart rises. Tilting the head to the sky, it's comfortable, and then exhale. So we're just using the arms to tune into the breath. Let's do two more rounds. And release. Last round, inhale. And then exhale. Taking our hands to the side. Keep the shoulders from nice feet. From here, shoulders melt down, chin drops down to the chest. And then tilt it up to the sky. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Back through to neutral now. Hit one ear over to the shoulder. Check that you're not clenching your teeth together at all. And then come back through centre. Up and over to the opposite side. You might notice one side is tighter than the other. That's completely normal. And then come back to the gym. Show us some nice pictures. We're going to stretch the arms out wide. We're going to give ourselves a little hug to start off with. So as you exhale, draw the arms through. Take one hand below and one hand over. And then open wide. Switching arms to the opposite arms on top now as you come through. And then open on an inhale. Exhale. Breathe in, heart reaching. And then breathe out. We're going to do two more openings with the arms. And then hugging the hands around. Let's do one last one in here. And then coming through. Well done. From here, hit the arms out wide. This time we're going to cross the left arm over the body. The right arm goes on top. Four arms together. So eagle arms. You may find you can bring your palms together. But don't do that and then find that you're just holding on to the alive. If you're doing that, then press your forearms together, back of the hands press into each other. From here, as you inhale, let's draw the fingers up to the sky. Feel this in the shoulders, the upper back. Again, check that your face is relaxed. 
We're going to inhale so you can go slightly higher as you exhale, drawing them down, keeping that pressure between the arms. So inhale, rise. Fingertips stay reaching to the sky. Exhale, lower. Really good. This is you've been doing lots of uh, work from home. Exhale, lower down. Now lots of feeding, now lots of gardening, and then open the arms out nice and wide. We're going to switch this time. The right arm goes up the knee, left arm on top. Four arms pressed together. So you want to have that tension between the arms. From here, right, the backs of the hands together or palms touch and then inhale, stretch up. Exhale, keeping that tension between the arms as you lower down. Inhale, rise. Face neck and jaw soft. Exhale, lower. Let's do one more, breathe in, and then breathe out. Take the arms out really wide, bringing the hands down to the thighs, shoulders. Do some nice big strokes. That's it, and then if you are on a block or a cushion, move it to the side. Change it across if you like, at any time if you want to, but especially now. And then we're going to start to swoop down low in the circle. Chest come to the floor as you come up, with the shoulders round. Put the chin to the chest. So as you do this, you might find that your hips crack a little bit. Mine tend to. You might notice some tension in your lower back. It's all about just investigating your body and moving it in a way that it doesn't get to move very often, especially at the minute. And then go the opposite way. You might want to be really slow with the head. And just let it sweep nice and low. As you come up, shrugging the shoulders around that heart space, let's do one more big circle round. And then come up nice and straight, taking the feet out in front. Face of the feet are pressing to the mat, sitting bones, the bone of it to the bone are pressing to the mat, hands to the shins, shins are parallel. As you inhale, seated cow, heart rises, shoulders roll back. As you exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, rub the belly button. So breathe in, heart lifts, relax the shoulders as you breathe out, tucking the chin to the chest. If your mind is wandering, keep going back to this rhythm of the body moving with each breath. Inhale, you rise. Exhale, you Let's do two more. So feel confident enough to move with your breath, it is your practice. Exhale, bring the belly button into the spine, last round, breathe in. And then breathe out. From here, come up nice and straight. We're going to stretch the left leg out, flexing it to the toes, coming back towards the shin. Right leg stays bent, right hand to the side. As you inhale, reach through the left finger. As you exhale, either tuck the elbow or grab hold of that leg, whatever's more comfortable. We're going to inhale now, lengthen through the top of the head. Activate the legs in the lower back. So as you inhale, you lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, draw your belly button in, twist and look over that back shoulder. So we're still breathing. With each inhale, we are lengthening. With each exhale, twist further, see if you can look over the back shoulder. Pressing into that thigh with the elbow or the hand, take a breath. Exhale to release and come all the way back through. We're going to switch sides. So make sure those sitting bones are equally pressed into the mat. Left hand to the side as you inhale, reach through the right fingertips. As you exhale, grabbing the knee or tucking the elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, belly button draws in. Roll the chest open. Looking over that back shoulder. Make sure that your leg that's stretched out stays flexed and active. Inhale, see you can go a little bit taller. Exhale, see if you can twist a little bit further. Take a breath. And then come all the way back. We're going to keep this leg stretched out. We're going to drop the opposite knee out to the side. So you can pad it with a cushion or a block. Bringing it as close to the body as feels comfortable for you. We're going to inhale, lengthen through the spine, fingertips come to the floor. As you exhale, keeping this foot flexed, we're going to start to fold forward. 
So keep your vision on your big toe. Don't make the mistake of trying to look towards your knee and force your body down. As you inhale, your spine is long. As you exhale, see if you can fall on top of that back. Now, if you have this in your yoga practice, you may be able to hold the back of the foot, but don't worry too much. We're going to inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Soften the face. Relax the neck and the jaw. If you feel like your leg is shaking, don't worry. Let's take a breath. And then with control, we're going to walk the hands back. Switching sides now. So this leg's going to stretch out. Opposite leg bend. And then knee goes out to the side. Pad me. Supporting it with a block or cushion if it feels comfortable. And then lengthening through the side. So again, fingers need to come to the floor. This leg that's outstretched is flat, so your toes are coming back to the shin. We're going to inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, start to walk the hands forward. Keep looking towards that big toe. So we're not starting to curve the spine. The spine is long and straight. As you exhale, see if you can sink a little bit longer. Keeping the face, neck and jaw soft. Again, if you have it in your practice, and hold the base of the foot. Don't feel pressure, it's just a gentle flow. Take a breath, lengthen the spine, and then with control, let's walk the hands back. Bringing the base of the feet together because this always feels good. Clasping the hands around the feet, heart lifts, let's take the knees up and down. You should be feeling this in your inner thighs, maybe in your hips. Let the shoulders melt down, heart reaches, face is relaxed. If you want to have a moment here, close the eyes and come back to the breath. Letting go of any tightness or tension, any negativity is leaving the body with each exhale. Let's take one more breath together. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Use the hands to guide the knee, and we're going to come through onto our back. So once you are on your back, we're going to stretch one leg out and pull your opposite side as close into the body as you can. Once it's pulled in close, just give that ankle a few circles and stretch the toes. Go one way and then the other. Relax the shoulders into the mat. Spine long. And then switch. So that leg stretches out. Make sure you pop that in the way. And pull your opposite thigh in close as feels comfortable. Again, going around one way. Give the toes a good stretch. And then the other. Okay, from here we're going to do go and cast in the leg. So take the left. Foot, stamp it into the floor and cross the right thigh over the top. So you've got no gap between the thighs, it's like you're crossing your legs over a table. From here, we're going to pull both thighs in towards the body and lift the head. So you may be comfortable holding the knees, ideally, looking for the outside of the feet, if not, you can grab the shin. And then the key is relaxing the head and shoulders down into the mat. Relax the back of the head into the floor. And breathe. So, if you've been doing any workout at home, you need to do some classes, and you're probably going to be feeling this now. I definitely am. I've been doing lots of lunges. So, shoulders roll back flat, face is soft. Again, close the eyes if it helps. As you inhale, directing air to the part of the body where you feel the stretch. As you exhale, releasing any tightness. Remember, you can hold wherever feels most comfortable. Try to keep both feet flexed as you draw the leg into the body. Relax the shoulders down. Connect back to the breath. And then nice and gently release. Take both feet to the side of the mat. Top of the body is relaxed into the floor. Wind to be wide for your knees one way up and over. Going as far down to the floor as feels comfortable. And then we're going to switch sides. So this time, your right side, 
stays underneath, your left goes on top. We're going to inhale, lengthen the spine and draw the knees into the body. Grabbing hold of the feet or the shins or the knees as you roll the shoulders back into the floor. So feeling the stretch here, letting go of any tension. If you feel it in your knees, then back off. We don't want to feel any pain at all. We we'll inhale, sending air to the part of the body that feels the stretch. So that as you exhale, your breath carries that tension away. Relax the shoulders. Relax the face. Relax the jaw. Just acknowledging how your body feels and allowing your mind to be completely present. As you use this time to stretch the body and connect the body and the breath. Take a deep inhale. Exhale as you gently release. From here, pull both knees into the chest. Take the hands behind the thighs. We're going to rock forwards and backwards. So just go to everything as comfortable for you, and we're going to come up to standing. So, however you choose to get there, we're going to do some sun salutations. So, if you have your own yoga practice and you have your own sun salutations, feel free to do your option. We're going to start off in mountain pose. So I'm sliding so that you can see what I'm doing. So in a mountain pose, you want to feel just like a mountain. You've got a strong base, you are tall. And then we're going to close the eyes and relax the shoulders down. And as you stand here for a moment, making sure those second toes are parallel, I want you to just notice the parts of the feet that are grounding down into the mat. Imagine that they are gripping into the floor. Like a mountain, you are tall and strong. Just notice any slight wobbles with the breath. Know that it's okay and we're letting those go. If you breathe in, you are lengthening through the spine, right through to the top of the head. As you exhale, relax the shoulders down. And just allow yourself a moment here to feel grounded, to feel secure. To feel relaxed. Gently blink your eyes open. We're going to inhale now, stretch the hands to the sky. As you exhale, press the hands together back to the heart. Inhale, reach through the ring fingers. And as you exhale, forward fold from the hips. If you can't touch the floor, bend the knees, it's not a problem. Hands to shins, half lift, inhale. Exhale, hands come down low and step back. So choose your option. I'm going to be dropping the knees now. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, lower down to the ground. Elbows tuck in, feet press into the mat. Inhale, exhale, lower. Tuck the toes. We're going to press into our first downward dog. So let's all meet there. Gaze into that space between the feet. Let's pedal the knees, pedal the feet. Bending one knee and then the other. Pressing into the base of the index finger and thumb. So it's a huge misconception. That your legs need to be straight in downward dog. We're pressing the floor away with the hands and have a little experiment, maybe send the hips side to side or deeply bend both knees. Draw your mind back to the breath. Inhale here and as you exhale, we're going to step or tip toe back to the top. Or toes tuck, meeting in downward dog and breathe. If you ever need to rest in yoga, you're welcome to take your knees wide feet together. I'm just showing you this pose now. Everybody else should be down with dog. As you exhale, ground into the mat now. Take a nice deep breath and let tiptoe a step back to the top of the mat together. Inhale to rise up, grounding through the feet. Exhale, hands come back to the heart. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Breathe in, reach through the ring fingers. Breathe out, forward fold, hands to shins, half lift. Exhale, lower. Step or jump back, into a plank, lengthen through the spine and lower. Keeping those elbows tucked, inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, lower or flip the toes. Meeting in downward dog, take a breath. So you mind back to this present moment and how your body is feeling. And as you exhale, make your way back to the top of the mat. 
Grounding through the feet. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's do two more rounds. Remember, if you need a rest, you can move into child's pose. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Breathe in, reach through the ring finger. Breathe out and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, lower. Step or jump back. Make sure you're not locking the elbows. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, lower. We're moving slowly and with control. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck the toes. Downward dog. Take a deep breath now. So don't be afraid of breathing nice and deeply. Making a noise to breathe as well. Keep checking in with the body. On your next exhale, making your way back to the top of the mat. Inhale to rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Last round. Breathe in. And out. Inhale, reach to the ring finger. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, lower hands down. Step or jump back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Lower with control, right down to the tummy. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Lower or flip the toes. Downward dog. Letting go of any tiredness with the breath. Face to relax, gaze towards the feet. Inhale here. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, ground into the feet as you reach through the side of the body, through to the fingertips. Exhale, hands to heart. Finish off your mouth. If you're from here, we're going to step one foot back. Take a wide stance on the mat. Make sure you come to the outside edge of the feet. Inhale now, stretch the arms up to the sky. As you exhale, fall from the hips. That will mark it clicking if you heard it. Take hold of the elbows with opposite hands. Head sinks low, and then we're gently going to sway side to side. Make sure that you are not locking the backs of the knees. Check that you have a gap between the teeth. The face is relaxed. Way one way. And then the other. And then gently releasing the hands down. We're going to keep one hand low, one hand high. You have a block. Welcome to take that bottom hand to the block. You can gaze up to the top fingertips. And then as you exhale, we're going to stop. So that hand comes low. Other hand open high. And then exhale, come back through. Bring both hands to your hips. As you inhale, rise together. Relax the shoulders down. We're going to turn the front foot and then step back through to mountain from here. Feel free to get a drink if you need to. We're going to inhale, stretch the hands to the sky. Exhale, hands come back to the heart. Inhale, reach through the ring fingers. Exhale, let's forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands come down this time. We're going to step into a downward dog. Take a breath in down the dog, and then we're going to drop the knee. Come through to the table, making sure the hands are directly beneath the shoulders, the knees are wide. So if you think of the table, you want to have a straight back. As you inhale now, let's do a few cat cows. Heart reaches forward, tail up. As you exhale, press the floor away, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, lengthen in the spine, chest reaches to the top of the mat. Hands pull towards you on the floor, and as you exhale, press the hands down and away. Chin to the chest. We're going to do one more round. Breathe in. And then out. From here, come back through to neutral. We're going to stretch that right leg out. Inhale here as you exhale. So think of cat pose that we just practice. Knee comes through. Inhale, extend out. Look into the top of the mat. Exhale. Knee comes through. Arch the back as you press the floor away. Last round. Inhale. Exhale. Bringing the foot through. Give it a helping hand if you need to so that you end up in a low lunge. From here. 
how do you knee knee to the cushion or what or fold your mat over? We're going to bring the hands to the hips and then just start to sink lower. So that any time you feel like you need to pad your knee, don't be worried to stop and pad it. Making sure that foot knee is above the ankle. Keeping that bottom move to in. Take a breath. We're going to inhale, stretch up. And breathe. Just have a moment, feeling nice and grounded. As you exhale now, bring the hands to the heart. Taking this left hand now to the inside of the front foot. Let's see if you can stretch the right hand up to the sky. Up through to the fingertips. And then unwind, come back through. As you inhale, both hands reach high. Heart lift. And as you exhale, bring both hands to the outside of the front foot. Tuck the back toes. Turn the back foot and rise up. So you are in warrior two. Front foot points forward. Back foot is in line with the back of the mat. Again, bringing that front knee above the ankle. Arm stretch wide and warrior two. Looking over the front hand. Check the back arm is equally as high. From here, let's inhale, rise together. Exhale, grounding down. Just see your focus is over the front hand. Breathe in and out. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower. Check you see that front big toe. We're going to flip the front hand and then tilt up to the sky. From here, come all the way through, bringing that front elbow to the inner thigh. Top hand stretches up. You can stretch the bottom hand down if you feel comfortable to. And then coming all the way back through. From here, let's turn the toes out, heels in, bend the knees, come through to goddess. As you inhale, scoop the hands to the sky. Exhale, palms press together back down. Think as low as feels comfortable. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Well done. Last round. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Sinking nice and low. Grounding through the feet. Heart lift. And then let's straighten those legs. Turn the back foot first. And then the front foot. Bend that front knee. As you inhale, reach both hands to the sky. As you exhale, hands come either side of the front foot. Turn the back foot, step back down with the dog. So you've got an option here. Either staying down with dog, go to child's pose, or we're going to roll forward into plank, lower down. Inhale, cobra, or up dog. Lower, or flip the toes, meeting down with dog. And breathe. Let's all have a moment in child's pose together, knee right. Feet together, forehead either to the mat with the arms outstretched, or take one fist on top of the other. Forehead to the fist and breathe. Relax the shoulder, relax the face and the neck and the jaw. Tune back into the breath. Come back to your yoga mat. And then nice and gentle. We're going to come through, meeting again in that table position. This time the left leg stretches out. Inhale, lengthen as you exhale, cat pose. Join the knee through, tucking the chin to the chest. Inhale, kick out. Chest reach to the top of the mat. Exhale, knee and chin, meet under the body. Last one, inhale, stretch. Exhale, press the floor away the front foot comes forward. Into that low lunge, padding the knee if you need to, keeping that rib tucked under, heart lifts, arms stretch up nice and high. Exhale, hands come to the heart, taking the right hand now to the inside of that left foot, stretching the left hand high, look to the fingertips, take a breath. Let's unwind, both hands now reach to the sky, heart lift. Exhale, hands come either side of the front foot. Tuck the back toes. Turn the back foot. And rise up. So you're in one or two on the opposite side. I'm going to switch so everyone can see what I'm doing. So now your left foot's forward. Knee above the ankle. Check you can see that front big toe. 
Back foot in line with the back of the mat, arms stretched out nice and wide, looking over the front hand. Let's tune back into the breath. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sink low. Breathe in, feeling nice and strong. Breathe out and release. Keep drawing your mind back to your body, back to your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Looking over the front hand. Check you see that's one big toe, the knee's not falling in. Flip the palm and tilt. Take a breath. Bringing that front elbow now through. Keeping it on the inner thigh or stretching the hand low, top hand meets up. Stretch right through to the fingertips. And then come back through. Close out wide, heels in, bending those knees. Inhale now, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, palms pressed together, drawing down that midline of the body. Go as low as feels good for your body. In your breath, inhale. Exhale, let's do one more. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Grounding down. Turn that back foot first and then the front foot, bending that front knee. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, bring your hands either side of the front foot. Turn the back foot and step back. Back through to downward dog. Drop to child's pose or follow me now as we flow forward into plank. Drop the knees and lower. Elbows are tucked, feet press into the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Pose tuck. Downward dog and breathe. Draw your mind back to this present moment. Back to the sensations of body moving with the breath. Let's sink low into child's pose, knees go wide. Feet together, forehead either to the mat or take one fist on top of the other, forehead to the fist. So we're just grounding down that space between the eyebrows. That's your traditional face of your third eye. It's your drishti when your eyes are closed when doing yoga or meditating. So just use this moment now to tune back into your breath. Relax the shoulders. Notice all the parts of the body that are touching the floor. And release. Feeling completely calm and relaxed. Now that all you have to do is breathe. We're going to move gently now, moving to the table. Cross the feet over behind and then roll onto your back. Once you are on your back, we're going to do a happy baby, which I know is lots of people's favourites. So shoulders rolling to the floor. Feet go as if they're going to go flat to the ceiling. So you don't want your toes up. You don't want your feet to go up from the angle. They're nice and flat. Holding the back of the thighs. The ankles are the inside of the feet. Wherever you're holding on, make sure that your head doesn't lift. So you're completely relaxed. Back of the head is sinking into the floor. And then sway one way and then the other. So it should feel nice on your lower back. Again, close your eyes if you feel nice and relaxed. This is a pose you can do at any time, especially now if everyone's self-isolated and got loads of time at home. Just do loads of happy babies to cheer you up. You should feel like it's a gentle hip opener, it's like a massage on your back. You look funny, but that cheers you up. It is a good one to do if you've got any children wrong. Maybe have an experiment straightening one leg and then the other. Don't think that yoga is this really strict practice. It's for whatever works for your body. It's just about playing around with movement and stretching. And then slowly find stillness. Pull both knees into your chest. Wrap your hands around your shoes, lift your head up so you're in a tiny rope and give yourself a hug and squeeze. Well done. And then 
Set your legs out long, set your arms up over your head, and give yourself a huge stretch. So for Shavasana, traditionally your hands are at the side of the body, palms facing up to the sky. Make sure that your lower back isn't pressed into the floor. If you want to put on any extra layers, if you stay in your Shavasana longer, or use a blanket, do it now. Shoulders roll into the floor, palms face up to the sky. Close the eyes. Soften the face. So make sure you're not holding any tension in your eyebrows. Have a space between the teeth. Notice again that rhythm of the body moving with the breath. We're going to point the toes, squeeze the muscles in the legs and the bone and hold as tightly as you can. And then release and relax. Take your hands into fists and squeeze as tightly as possible. And then release. Scrunch up all the muscles in the face. And then let go. Relax the backs of the legs and the heels, the shoulders and the back of the head. And you next inhale, direct all the air into the heart space, feel the chest lift to the sky. Exhale out of the mouth. And release. This time as you breathe in, direct all the air into your tummy. Press it up to the sky. And then exhale. And let go. Draw your mind back to that space between the eyebrows. Tune back into the rhythm of the body moving with each breath. Let the whole body melt down into the mat. Know that this is your space and your time to take whatever you need. Whether you need energy or calm or stillness. Maybe you need a little bit of happiness. Maybe you just needed a little bit of time to yourself. Acknowledge that now. You breathe in, taking whatever you need. As you breathe out, release whatever your body and mind does not need. Allow yourself a moment here. Be completely present. If your mind does start to wander, keep drawing it back to your body and back. So noting how your body feels now after all that stretching and movement. Noticing where you're directing the breath to. Feeling happy and positive and relaxed. Staying here now for your longer shavasana. Or if you're finishing your practice with me now, we're going to stretch our hands up over the head. Reach right through to the fingertips as you point the toes. And then gently roll onto your right hand side. Make a little pillow with your hands or with your arms. You can keep your eyes closed. And then nice and slowly make your way through to a seated position, however is comfortable for you. Legs crossed or out straight. And then just start to rub the palms together. Keeping the eyes closed. Face and shoulders are completely relaxed. And as the hands are warm, take them to the cheeks. Just give them a nice massage. Massage the forehead and the temples. Rub the eyebrows and work the hands down the jaw. Massage the back of the neck and the shoulders. Feeling happy and relaxed and calm. You start now to work the hands back up the neck and use the palm to draw the hairline back and release. Gently use the fingertips to tap over the face, over the chest and shoulders, 
hopefully be feeling energized and refreshed. Slowly now, cupping the hands over the eyes. Start to blink your eyes open as you make some gaps between the fingers. Let the light in gradually and then take the hands down. Give the shoulders some nice big shoulders. Well done. We're going to finish with one last breath together. In that Shavasana, as you breathe in now, partly stretch into the fingertips. And as you exhale, press the palms together, draw them back down to the heart. Namaste, thank you very much. Well done, I hope you all enjoyed it.